Welcome to the StealthWatch tutorial series. My name is Dave Bush, and I'm a technical solutions architect for StealthWatch at Cisco. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to monitor remote access traffic in StealthWatch. Before we begin, let's review the benefit to your enterprise in using StealthWatch to monitor remote access traffic. With more people working remotely, it's important to monitor what they're accessing on your network, as well as how much bandwidth they're using. To monitor your remote access traffic, you will need a StealthWatch deployment running StealthWatch version 6.9 or newer and have your network devices sending NetFlow. To determine what remote access hosts are accessing on your network, open the web UI and click on Monitor, then select Host Groups. When the Host Group report comes up, click on Change Host Group in the top left, and then you can either expand your host groups to find the VPN group or just search for it in the top, select that group, then click apply. You can now see what your host groups are accessing internally by looking at the top host groups uh, by traffic section. The thicker the line, the more traffic that was communicated there. In this example, remote access groups are not accessing any outside host groups which indicates that VPNs are coming back only for network assets located on your corporate network. This is commonly referred to as split tunneling. To determine the top applications being used by remote access users, open the web UI, click on Analyze, and then Flow Search. Under Search Type, change it from Flow to Top Applications. And then under Subject, click to select the host group and select your VPN host group then click Apply. You may also wish to change the time range from the default of the last five minutes. I'm going to choose the last eight hours. You can also change the peer host group. Say, for example, if you wanted to see communications between VPN uh, pool IPs and file server, you'd select the file server group. When you have things the way that you want, go ahead and click Search. Now you can see the top applications that are in use on your network. For example, here we've had 349.57 megs of HTTP traffic that have happened in the last eight hours between VPN pool IPs and our network. You can also see if you scroll down, we've also had another 223.89 meg of SSH or SCP traffic that has happened over the past eight hours. If you wanted to get additional details in any of these flows, you could just click on the number under the flows column and it would bring up the flows that were associated with that traffic. Now, if you wish to change this from top applications, you can also edit your search. So instead of choosing top applications as the search type, you could change it to something like top hosts would be your top VPN hosts that are coming in. Top peers would be the top destinations that those VPN hosts were going to, or top conversations would be the uh, sorted by the largest conversations that have occurred in total on your network. If you're interested in evaluating StealthWatch, sign up for a test drive at cs.co slash stealthwatchtd, or you can learn more at cisco.com slash go slash stealthwatch. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.